Hey guys, today, welcome to the ranch first of all. Today we are going back to the big woods. Um, this time with Mega Munch, we're gonna clear out, brush cut some of that trail, the starting of it anyways. Most of the Mega Munching is gonna be up front. The stuff up top that I was getting stuck in and then I have to continue doing from where I stopped is largely gonna be the hedge clippers. There's just so much big deadfall on the way, I don't know if it's gonna be worthwhile trying to get Mega Munch up in there. Maybe, we'll see. But for now, I'm just gonna clear most of the path up to where the tricky stuff starts and then I'm just gonna have an easier time getting up there for the hedge clipper, because I'll do the hedge clipper next. So that'll be probably the next part of this, of tackling this trail. Anyways, here's Mega Munch. Get them started up, fueled up, started up, and then we'll go. By the way, these no-spill tanks are fantastic. Clean as a whistle. And I didn't even actually use much, uh, much fuel. The last time I had this out, I had to fill the tank and I did that entire section back in there. And this thing was working hard for like, how long was that video? Like a half, I think I did about a half an hour of raw footage of just running this thing or 45 minutes. So yeah, it powered through really well. This is a efficient unit. Anyways, let's go. Last time the video was super shaky, so I'm gonna see, that was me having it in my little chest rig. I'm gonna see if I can just hold it and run this guy with one arm. That might work for a little bit. The stuff I gotta clear out of there is relatively tame compared to the last stuff anyway, so we'll see. I'll see what we can do. It's not going to work because I have to have a left hand to engage that and I have to drive, so I'll just take breaks and show you guys the progress. Well, sorry, that was a short one. <clears throat> there just was no real good way to uh, take you with me because I needed both hands. <clears throat> so, no shaky footage for you. I'll figure some way to mount a gimbal to it. I can mount my gimbal and you'll get clear footage and I can drive that thing. So, that'd be alright, but man, as you can probably tell, we got some trail cut and cleaned up. So it's much more walkable now. <clears throat> there was some crazy steep stuff because some spots I couldn't get, there was big trees in the way from my previous video uh, when I went out with the loppers and I actually last lost my way at one point too. I wasn't sure which way I took. So I ended up taking the wrong way and then I came back in super steep. Getting out was also super steep, but we, uh, we did it. The thing is just a beast. So we're doing good. I think I'm gonna walk with my wife and the dogs again tonight. So. We'll show you that segment. We'll show you some of that segment as well. We'll see how far we get, see how far the bushwhacking my wife is. But uh, she's pretty adventurous, so I think we'll make it decently far. Anyways, man, what a beautiful evening. Clouds are rolling in. I still find my cat. That's easy with tractive, so it's actually always fun. I kind of look forward to it because he just I have to go wherever he is. So I get to sometimes explore new parts. Sometimes I'm way out there which it's been a while, so it's, chances are it's where I'm going tonight. You'll come along for that too. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. Keep watching. But man, just look at that beautiful valley. And uh, for, for some perspective, <clears throat> we're between 150 and 200 feet from the riverbed to the top rim where the farmland is. So 
it doesn't always come through on camera, but it is a substantial elevation. And we are gaining basically just that much because the hills are higher on this side. So we're probably going up 130 to 100 because we're above the creek bed here, obviously. But uh, 120, 130, 40 feet, probably we're, we're gaining elevation through that hike. So yeah, Mega Munch is putting in the work. All right, back with the clean shirt, my wife and the doggos to check out what I've done with the new trail anyways. Our cat's somewhere in the bushes apparently, so we'll pick him up on the way back. Just loving it. Come on! Come on guys! Rora! Good puppies, hey, hey, come here. Come here, Rora. Hey. Argo! Argo! There you are, bud. Good boy. That, and here's the start of the trail. Come on, guys, this way. <laughs> there. A couple of fur pedos. So happy. <clears throat> and again, their leashes are on because the deer are around and I do trust this pretty good, but yeah, if I spot a deer, I can grab one dog before it notices and it's just easier. So, oh, storm is coming in. Okay, this is kind of the start of the trail actually here. Kind of, sorta. Leaves are falling. Why not? It's fast. Fun. It's more gradual and it uh, makes it a little longer. Come on, guys! Oh, here they come. Boom! <laughs> Land adults. Malamuts. There's the tree that almost fell on me in the previous video. Everyone cut up the extra little loop. Jeez, I try and make it all interesting and fairy tale like and they just skip ahead. Ugh. When the wife is filming to show her friends the cool new forest trail, you know you did a good job. Sunset. Very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> yeah, I cut a hit this time.
that was my I forgot where I was going trail. <laughs> now we go through here. This is this was I got lost. Well this is where I forgot where I was going trail. That was my steep return because I didn't feel like coming that way. And we come through here. This was just a bit much for the brush cutter. This isn't even the good part. It gets better. It is pretty cool though. Um, yes. Technically, yes. Should have brought my gimbal for this. I didn't expect to do the whole walk. But it's such a nice, pretty evening. And the dogs, they just understand. They just know the trail. They know where to go. This next spot, like I didn't have the lawnmower in, so I'm gonna come through with the hedge clippers and clean it all up. <clears throat> so it's less of a clean trail, more of a fun adventure. That's how I'm gonna sell it. Puppies! Come on! Puppies, come! Good puppies. Good your sister. Oh boy. Rora, come. Rora. Here she is. Good girl. Good girl. Rora, come here. Come here. Go to mom. All the loves.
Go, Rora. Yeah, a little bit. Again, I'll come through with the hedge clippers and it'll clean it all up, but I was pretty pooched after. Ah, the loppers, yes. I didn't really touch that spot though, just a couple things. Yeah. Puppies, come! We're going slow and they're just motoring through this stuff. There they are. Good puppies! You guys are listening so well. See, oh it's gosh, like. Where are you taking me? We're steep. Taking you to the future campsite. This is why I brought my boots. Yeah, that was smart. Puppies, come! They're over here! Argo! Lara! Good puppies. Oh. Almost there. Oh. Argo, come on! Come on, Argo! Argo! Come on, buddy, come on! Good boy! Oh man, don't be left behind. Good girl. You guys know this spot. <clears throat> There's the trusty loppers, right where I left them. Puppies, come on! Come on! There they are. <laughs> you guys took a different way. Yeah. This is the spot. I gotta get it all cleared out, but. And leveled. Yes, and leveled. Actually, kind of cool. You can probably dig some little. Uh, some little shelter things inside the sides of the walls. The walls. How do we get out? Well, I'm glad you asked. We can go back the way we came or we can uh, follow the dogs uh, and be prepared to duck a little bit. <laughs> Any cobra chickens around here? I don't think so. Well, probably at some point. I, I guess we haven't really seen any geese around here. Uh, puppies, come! I think it's better this way. Yeah, I've been through here before. Come on, puppies! Yeah, this is the trail. This is the deer trail. He's over ahead of me. Oh. Oh my God. Come on, girl. What did you find? Curry chicken? Did you find something? Oh, it's probably a mouse. mouse? Oh no. What did you get? Porcupine. Shit. 